talking about the fear of God. We spoke already in class number one about the fear of punishment. That's not even into the realm of fear of God. And actually, that's only the beginning, you know, just like children. When children start learning, when children start developing, you have to give them sweets and you have to give them presents in order to do things that actually are good things, like brush your teeth and learn something and do your homework, etc., etc. But that's only the beginning. Same thing happens with the fear of God. And between parentheses, we're not talking about this, but you know what? Same exact things happens if you serve God because he's going to give you a reward in the world to come. You know what? You're actually serving yourself. And God is just a tool for you to get world to come. You cannot get it by yourself. <laughs> you can go to work and you get some dollars, but you're not going to get world to come. So you use God and you do what he says in order to get the world to come. Are you serving God? You're serving yourself. But let's close the parenthesis now. We're talking about the fear of God. Punishment is just the beginning. Okay, just for children, quote, unquote. And for people that serve God, as children. Let's go move on to the next one. The fear of chet, of a sin. I don't want to be disconnected to God. But then we spoke about the fear of God himself. How do you get that? In order to get fear of God, you have to understand who God is. God actually is impossible to understand him. However, we can think, meditate about certain ideas that can help us understand the greatness of God. Once we get the great, not God, the greatness of God, then we can say, okay, let's fear the greatness of God compared to your greatness. Come on, how great are you? How can you think about the greatness of God and get a grasp of it? So think about the world. The world was created basically with four elements. Element number one is inanimate objects. Element number two is plants. Element number three is animals. Element number four, human beings. And this includes all the human beings. Now, God is in charge, constantly creating and giving life to every single element and every single individual in the group of elements, etc., etc., in the whole world. And within the human being himself, God is conscious of all the thoughts of every single human being in the face of the earth and all the words that they, they say and the deeds that they do. And God not only creates this world, he also creates other planets, other stars, the whole universe. As long as you start thinking and developing detail by detail, he takes care of all the single cells of every single human being and all the cells of every single animal and all the cells of all the single, every single piece of grass, etc., etc. You're going to start thinking about the greatness of God. And you will say, wow, such a great God. He is, quote, unquote, on top of me, being conscious of what I think and what I do and what I, etc., and that's going to generate on you a sense of understanding the greatness of God. Through understanding the greatness of God, you can actually start fearing God. Because if this guy, quote unquote, which is not a guy, he doesn't have any form, he doesn't have a, whatever. But if he is so great and he is watching me and taking care of me and loving me, etc., etc., whoa, that generates on myself an understanding of my, quote, unquote, greatness, whatever great you think you are, and it's nothing compared to the greatness of God. And that's the first level of fearing, actually, God.